Hi, great and beautiful people of God. Welcome to my channel. This is Blessed Me Aguina TV, a great channel full of God's word, prayers, prophecy, word of knowledge. Here we have the whole of the Bible on audio playlist. Subscribe, touch the bell, stay with us. You're welcome. We'll be looking at the book of Isaiah 51. 15 today we want to see how god introduced himself in that verse praise god he says but i am the lord thy god that divided the sea whose waves rode the lord of hosts is his name amen hallelujah i am the lord thy god who divided the sea whose waves rode the Lord of hosts is his name. Praise God. God is the one that divided the sea. We all know the story of when God's people were about to go from Egypt. Hallelujah. And there was a sea before them. The Red Sea. And God told Moses to sweat for his rod. And the sea was divided and they walked over. So God is saying, yeah, I am the Lord thy God that, that divided the sea. He's reminding us. In this verse to know to remember who he is remember these people you may say oh it was talking to people of the old the bible today is for us that year right now the bible is a, a timeless book for everyone that we that have come that is here and that we ever come praise god so it's remembering that is the one hallelujah that divided the sea the sea that the, the waves Road, you know, so when you see some seas, so they are they are they are they are not easy at all. They are waves road. They can swallow. They can do and undo. The sea, the 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 the, the, the ocean, the, the you know, you know what they can do. But the Lord divided that sea. As powerful as the sea may be, as powerful as the sea may be, you know, the Lord made it. <laughs> you know the Lord is the maker of everyone on earth. The Lord divided the sea. That the people of Israelites may be able to walk through it. With God, all things are possible. There is nothing too big for God. Hallelujah. So yeah, it's reminding us. Yeah. But I am the Lord that God that divided the sea. You know, we should ourselves remember sometimes who God is in our lives. What he did before. And to know that he can do it again. It does not change. He is always God. Praise God. It does not change. We should tell ourselves what he did in the Bible days and what he did in our own life today and know that tomorrow will be okay because God is always there for us. Hallelujah. He's the Lord of hosts. He's mighty in battle. Hallelujah. He's always ready to help. Are you there today? You're having issues in your life? Today, I remind you again that the Lord our God is the one that divided the sea. The sea that was before the people of Israelites that would have prevented them from crossing to their destination. That would have kept them waiting so that they would have been captured again, all over again, by Pharaoh and his people. The Lord put a road on that sea. It was not an ordinary sea. He said the, 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 the sea whose waves rolled. He said that the waves rolled. That we the sea is not a joke. But the Lord is more than all. He made the sea. He made, he made everyone else, so he divided the sea. And there was a road in the sea automatically. And the people of Israel were able to walk. What is it in your life today that God cannot solve today? He can do all. He can solve it. Look up to God. Put your trust in Him. Call on Him. Never face. He answers. It's not too late. Don't say it's too late. Nothing is too late for God. Hallelujah. It's not too late for Him. Hallelujah. Is, is your case so strong? Are there waves in your case? Are they, are they roaring? Is your case so fearful and strong? No the solution again. This world is a new case or an old case without solution. If you have sickness, the doctor, doctor said that there's no more cure or there's no cure, whatever. Today, trust in him. Is it a court case? What is that case? How strong is it? Trust in him and he will deliver you. In Jesus' name, I pray for you today that your face will rise today. Hallelujah. That in that case of yours that have been 
the store be you that have looked like it's it's too big. There's no way out. I pray to the God we divide it and put it away in it in Jesus' name. The Lord that divide the sea and make the way for it for the Israelites to cross. I declare and declare today in your case, in your stubborn issue, in your stubborn case, or even a small case, whatever case you are having today, the Lord will divide that case and put a road in it for you in Jesus' name. You are crossing over. You are crossing over to your greatness, to your celebration, to your promised land, to your joy to your promotion, to your success in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are crossing over. There's a way now. There's a way out. You are moving forward in your finances. You are moving forward in your marriage. There's a way out now. You are crossing over now. Marry Tali now. You will not be called a marriage. You will be called Mrs. You will be called a marriage. In Jesus' name, you are crossing over. There's a way out now. A way of joy. A way of solution has come. Solution has come for you. The road is open. The road is open. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you richly. Thank you for watching. Receive this word is for you. If you're not born again, why you want to forgive your life to Christ? Say after me, prayer of salvation. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe that for me. You were buried on the third day. You rose again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I'm now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you richly. If that prayer was said by you, are not born again. Begin to go to a Bible teaching church. Stay with us here. Subscribe. If you watch us on Facebook. Follow us. I'll see you next time. Bye.